guys so much for coming back and taking a peek at what I'm up to today. I'm working on redecorating into the red and white gingham and burlap and you know I've kind of rethought this a little bit. At first I was going to do red and white gingham everywhere. Then I thought just a touch of red and white gingham and then I thought now I want to add some burlap <laughs> and some cream and who knows what I'm going to come up with when it's all said and done. But I sat last night while I was watching TV after I got my video up on YouTube last night and I made a copious amount of bows and I just finished putting them at all the swag points here on the staircase. And I am really loving them. I really like how they look even though they are kind of telescoping in as kind of a pink, but they're not pink, they're red. Through the camera, they look a little pink, but they truly are red. I also didn't do anything to my bull nose here. I'm just gonna leave it, my bull, bull nose spray here, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I just added the bow to the end, and that is what I got finished doing this morning. So Chris and I are getting ready to go out and uh, have our, Friday lunch that we always do, our soup and salad. Oh, I, Chris fixed the scales and have lost 18 pounds. What? 18 pounds, you guys, wow. So, of course the first, you know, six went bang like that because it's all fluid, but 18 pounds, I'll take it. I have about 180 to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got a lot to go. But anyway, when I get back, I'm gonna start changing out the, the doilies on my uh, credenza and on my end tables and everything and maybe do one or two lantern or one lantern centerpiece at least and another centerpiece possibly I'll try to fit in this video anyway for now we're going to head on out of here and I will catch you when we get back from lunch get back in a little while alrighty you guys I'm back we're back from lunch and I've been doing a little bit of decorating since we've been home. Actually, I've been doing a lot of running around and going back and forth, and I fed the dogs. Chris has been out mowing the grass. So, but I wanted to show you what I did accomplish and what I'm fixing to do for you guys. This is the centerpiece that I made when I did my family reunion video. So if you guys wanna, I'll put a little card here so you guys can go and take a look at that if you want to. And I just changed the table runner and changed everything up there more to red. This is stuff I had for the family reunion. I did pick up that birdhouse from Hobby Lobby. They're on sale. Pictures of our girls and, you know. So that's all I did here. Oh, I did replace the plate with that again. I had that from the family reunion. Put this wreath I made when I did our girlfriend's craft day Put that there on that door I've got a mess there and a mess everywhere tables a mess of course as I said just said a little while ago I made all those bows last night and I started to poke around with this a little bit so I'm going to be using those magnolia flowers that I got that are you know very adjustable so I put two there and I'm going to incorporate the other two over here on the fireplace some way. So I pretty much finished the mantle. Didn't do anything to that other than just to add two bows. Took the egg garland down. Of course the pit berries were already up and I had just put the egg garland over the pit berry. So I really didn't do anything else to this other than just to add the bows and the little red birdies. They're metal. They're heavy little dudes. Got this 50% off. Hobby Lobby. Gotta put, uh, here's the credenza that I'm working on. Put the girls' pictures in red frames. And then 
We have a couple more pictures in red frames there. And then I'm going to make the centerpiece for there. I'm going to incorporate a little bit of yellow into that to come here with this plate. And there's a smidge of kind of yellowish beige in that one too. And then I very well might pull some a little bit of yellow over here in this corner. I obviously have to do this corner yet. So there's all my bins. <laughs> And I haven't done anything in there. I'm really not going to do too much in there other than just to rearrange things and to do that lantern centerpiece that will match this tablecloth. Did manage to get that back on. Let's head back over here to the kitchen. That's my messy kitchen table. See, everything's not always perfect in here. I've been dusting as I go. So here's all the stuff I'm going to be working with. I'm going to be putting three arrangements together. This big one here for the kitchen table. And this one for the credenza. Get a little bit of yellow there. And then I'll do something with that one for the hearth. So, also I had this already made up. And this is in a mercury glass. I'm just going to tie a bit of my ribbon around there. And that will go on the one of the tables over there. So, I think I am also going to put my butterfly lights in with this arrangement. We'll see if I can get that to work. So let me get the camera set up, and I'm going to start with this big mama right here. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, here we go. I'm going to start out with my big kitchen table lantern centerpiece. And as you all saw, I got this lantern centerpiece over at Country Treasures over in Harrisonburg, Virginia. So if any of you ever get to Harrisonburg, Virginia, stop into Country Treasures. This stands 20 inches tall and it's 10 inches wide. And as you all know, I always put, build my lantern centerpieces on a tray. This one happens to be a glass or a mirrored tray. Got it from Hobby Lobby for 50% off. I reuse this, this lantern and this tray throughout the year and I switch out my lantern centerpieces for the season or the holiday or kind of both. So all I did, actually this was in here when I took this apart. So I'm going to leave this here because it helped, you know, as I say, I always anchor my corners and I'll show you what I'm gonna anchor these corners with in just a second with these big, big centerpieces. So, but that helps the, whatever I put in the corners to stay put and not slip and slide too much. So we're going to start this lantern with putting our candle in. And in my big lanterns, I use these luminaire candles. This is a, I think it's three and a half or four inches by nine inches tall. And it, you can either have it steady on or you can put it on a timer. And when the first time you turn it on, the timer setting it will stay on for five hours so I usually start these in the evenings for this purpose I'll start it right now and I'll fix it later so as you all know a lot of this decor is left over from our family reunion so I had already made I'm going to put use red and white pit berries in this lantern decor and the first thing I want to do is to put a candle ring around this candle and put it inside the lantern. And I made this, all I did was cut off about, I would say 10 inches, eight to 10 inches from a Pitberry garland, the rest of which I will use around the outside. I have it already here in a Ziploc bag. And I just wire it together with florist wire. So very, the first thing I always do is to set my candle ring in. I tell you, some, when you get finished with this, you hardly can see the inside, but I know it's there and you can fluff it up and make it look a little fuller all the way around. It just adds some interest inside the lantern too, gives some movement. 
So there we go. Make sure your candle is centered. And there we go. That's all there is to that. Then make sure your lantern is centered on the tray. There we go. And the first thing I'm going to do is put the pit berries around it. And then I'll nestle the what I'm going to put in the corners in the corners. First thing is the pit berries. Obviously, I took this out of another. <laughs> I had both of this was used for another lantern, probably the other lantern centerpiece. I had both of these big lanterns set up the same way because I had the dining room decorated for the family reunion as well. So anyway, this pit berry garland. And you can get the Pipberry Garland, and I highly recommend this place. It's called Barn. The Pipberry. It's two words. Pipberry is two words. Pipberrybarn.com. And they have lovely Pipberry Garlands, Pipberry Picks, whatever. Pipberry suits your fancy. They have it. All right. So there we have. We have that around. And, you know... You might want to take a little longer than I am right now to tweak and pull up and make look beautiful. I'm just trying to, always thinking of the time. I don't ever want to overdo, overstay my welcome with you guys. All right, so there we go. Now I'm going to anchor the corners and I'm going to use these. These are resin daisies. They're meant to be hung on a wall, I guess, since they have a little hanger. Well, not me. I or use things for different things all the time. So there we go. One in each corner. And around here. There we go. So I'm thinking about my family. I had, uh, you know what? Sometimes I put this in the front, and sometimes I don't. This time I don't think I will. I'll save that for another time. I think I'll just go with flowers. I have some. See, I was going to one for the front, the side, where my on either side. And then what else? But some red Gerber daisies. They'll be snugged in on either side. I'm one short. <laughs> hmm. Oh, let's see. How many more do I need? I need one more. I just happen to have another bag of Gerber Dees. There we go. And I think I'm going to make I was going to make a bow topper out of the, this burlap ribbon, but I don't think I will. I think I'll make it out of white instead. I already have it made, and I already had, this was all, all made and all ready to go, and I took it all apart because I thought I would make a burlap. But, well, I'll give you a chance to see what I do then. This is just a tuff of pitberry garlands and berries and all kinds of stuff so i'm going to snug that down can you guys see what i'm doing Let me move this out of the way real quick here sorry so here's the bow 
You guys have certainly seen me make bows. I'll put a link to the last video I did where I did many bow tutorials or a couple. So I'm not gonna do one in this one because I don't wanna run out of time. So I take this tough and make sure that you're gonna take it right at the center and attach it right in the middle of that tough so that some stick out the top and some stick out from the bottom. And then I had already made, and then let it get stuck on your bracelet. <laughs> then I had already made a little, like a sleeve. And I just hot glued it shut. And snug that down. And this little sleeve will fit right down over this piece up here. Can you see that? Will fit down right over this piece here. time to pull some of the berries up and through something like that and that will do that very first lantern centerpiece I like it so that will go over on the kitchen table move this one out of the way and let's work on this one next because this is going to be something new for me so we're going to learn together here this is a garland just like the garland that I purchased for out on the front porch Still 50% off today, so I went and got one from Hobby Lobby. And much like I do with the pip berries, I'm going to make myself a flower ring. Let me first get some batteries for my candle here. Hang on. thing we do is stick that down in there of course this looks like that it's gotten a little bit dirty and I'm going to go ahead and use this Florida Lee candle holder because so I'm not going to put a blank or a, a towel or anything because I don't have anything to anchor in here but I just do want to make sure that the Florida Lee is is pointed toward the front and I'm going to I said make a little flower ring for inside of that so let's see you can see there's the end of it I just want to kind of make it so I'm sure that it's big enough to fit down in there I think it's about a foot long I would say Cut off before I get to this big tuff of flowers here. And take a piece of wire. That'll work out all right. 
you can see I have it kind of overlapped here. And I kind of just start <laughs> and just start rapid. Okay, see I'm barking. Warning, warning, Newfie barking. <laughs> Let me take the price tag off of this too, that would help. Sam. 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 It's Daddy. Sam. This is out there working, and he's here. Sees him. Like he doesn't know it's his daddy. <laughs> All right. So let's see if this fits down in here. Fingers crossed. Oh, there goes Gracie. That's everybody bark because Sam is. All righty. Well, that's interesting <laughs> so far. Actually, it kind of looks pretty, doesn't it? I think that candle will shine right through there. Look at that. There we go. I like it. All right. Well, that was easy enough. I'm not looking how it looks on this side. Let me push it down, smush it down in there a little bit further. There we go. Sam. take the rest of this again making sure I have a Florida Lee facing the front there and the rest of this will just go around inside daisies so what I'm gonna do next is put the butterfly lights on I got these lights oh, I tell you these things are a test of they test my patience you guys I got these from Victoria's Victoria, something Oh, I can't think. I'll get you a link. Victoria Treasure, something like that. If you get, you can get Victorian clothes and earrings and uh, home decor like this. It's a really cute little shop, and I've gotten a couple of a uh, couple of pairs of earrings and a ring. Chris got me a ring from there. Like I said, this has been a test of my patience. There we go. I guess that's what I get. Anyway, snug the little battery pack down in the back. And we're just going to put these around. These stay on all the time. So these will be lit as long as the batteries last. Get them turned around here. There we go. And now, let's see what I can do with these. I've got sparkly butterflies and yellow Gerber daisies. Obviously, a Gerber on either side in the back. Butterflies. So, 
snug them down in there like that. Getting quiet again on you guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to, I'm working on that. And I just have like one loon butterfly. All right, so there we go. I'll have to get it into place and see if I need to tweak it at all. I'm not gonna add any red to it because there's a little bit of red peeking out. There's a red tray. So I think this will be just fine. Just like that. I'll get it into place and you see the lit butterflies? I think it's gonna be pretty in the evening. All right. Get him right in the middle there. Okay, about seeing them in the front. Again, this is a tray from Hobby Lobby. Check out the back. I think the, and again, this does have a timer, whoa. But I haven't seen it glow for a few nights here. So we're going to change the batteries. This one does have a timer though. Here we go. I'm not gonna put anything on the inside. So there we go. We're just going to, we put the candle in the, in the lantern and set the lantern on the tray. Again, this tray was from Hobby Lobby. This is the medium version of the same one that I have on the kitchen table. And then I just have, this is almost a caramelly color, creamy caramelly color, the berry garland. So that will go around. And I am not going to anchor the corners yet because you guys know what I did. I bought me some more of those, of these, like this, these little fellas here. When I got you guys the link last night, I bought myself another set, $24 for a set of four. So those will be what I use in the corners when they come in. And they're on their way already from Amazon Prime. So anyway, they will go at least in the front two corners. But in the meantime, the only other thing that will go on here is some of these red berries. And there's really no rhyme or reason to this. It's just kind of poke them in where you think they look pretty. We'll do it. I'm going to go ahead and put these into place and I will take you around and show you what I've done with them in place. I still have more to do, but, and of course I will give an all over tour when I'm finished. So, but for now, I'm going to go put these into place and I'll be right back to show you where they went. Hey everyone. Well, I am finished doing the centerpieces and I've got the three of them in place and I did a couple of other things but you can see this place is a disaster area right now and I'm still tweaking and decorating so I will definitely do another video kind of an all-over tour type video when I get everything else done but everything else is just pretty much in this area anyway, just pretty much tweaking and adding some a little thing here or there. Pretty much done in this area. I still have to do, you know, that area out there and put it back to more generic decor. And of course I'll bring you along when I make that lantern centerpiece and so on in there. But for this area, I, as I said, I still have some tweaking to do and I need to clean up a few things. <laughs> it's kind of messy in here but I'll start here here is that accent centerpiece for the hearth looks pretty there and I'm not going to linger long here to tell you about everything as I said I'll do an all-over tour when I get everything in place and now 
I'm satisfied with it. I did put the two magnol two of the magnolia flowers there, one there, and the other one up on the ladder there. That's where they end. That's where they found their home. And then here is the credenza centerpiece with the butterflies. That just worked out really pretty. I'm very happy with that. And then I just added some plates and family pictures and, of course, my Dickens houses, red candles. And then I had to have Chris help me with the cozy corner, you guys. I was going to video myself doing it, but it kept bashing me in the head. I was having a terrible time trying to get this thing decorated. So Chris helped me put to the world you may ju be just one person, but to one person you may be the world plaque on and I love you more on, and then I did the rest. And I needed a little bit of help with this one. And that is what I've gotten done today. And as I said, I have more tweaking to do. I need to clean off the tables and get my doilies on the tables, and the kitchen is a disaster area over there. So, <laughs> definitely some things. I might tweak that little cozy corner there with some things. I have stuff sitting all over the place, bins stuffed full of reunion stuff, and, and that's all the stuff, all my burgundy stuff is in there, and here's all the bows we took off of the <laughs> staircase, and as I said, I still have more to do in these rooms, and I will bring you along next week. That will be next week, I think. I'm going to finish off today with what I've done right now and I will tweak and do an, a tour and then I'll start on the on the living room probably I'm not sure how I'll do that but regardless that's what I got done today feel pretty good about it so I'll just say y'all have a great weekend and I'll be seeing you next week, probably. Not sure how many I'll, videos I'll get up. I did manage to get up one a day this week, but I don't think I'll be doing that moving forward. I keep saying that, don't I? And I keep doing them, but anyway, we'll see. I'm rambling. So I will just say, until next time, you guys take good care.